Hi everyone, Ravi this side. So today we will be discussing about the dynamic insert and update in Spring Boot. So how we can perform the dynamic insert and update in Spring Boot? That is the today's agenda. And what do you mean by the dynamic insert and update in the Spring Boot? So I will be briefing you about those things. Okay, so what does it mean? So when uh, we are going for the dynamic insert property that is set to true, then Hibernate does not include null values for the properties. Okay, that means if you have a entity called user and you have a couple of fields, couple of instance variable like name, address, salary, age. Okay, so whenever you are going for the insertion of a new user, and you are going to only insert certain details of a user like you are going to insert a username and the user address only not the salary and the age for the particular user then in that case if you have not made the dynamic insert as true then when you are going to insert that user then all the fields all the four fields name address salary and age all the four fields would be included in the insert operation okay but when the dynamic insert is true then only those fields which you are going to set that will be included so it will improve the query so similar way in the dynamic update when you are going to uh, set is set the dynamic update properties as a, as a true then in that case it will only pick up the fields that you are providing in the query not the other fields okay so if you are not clear with the definition then i will be just developing one uh, spring boot application crud operation and then uh, we'll be showing how you can do dynamic insert and update in spring boot okay there is two way like xml configuration way as well as the annotation based uh, dynamic insert and update so i'm following the annotation based okay so for your uh, information i just uh, want to update you that uh, i already created one spring boot with mysql as a database uh, application which is a simple insert and get application okay so i've created a couple of uh, two apis only that is for one for insertion and another for for getting all the details from the database okay so uh, if you need this application to up and running on your system then i have uh, like i will be pinging the github details for this application i just push this on the github so i'm just going to show you where it is so here here you can see uh, in this repository i already have posted it here okay so from here you can clone and then I will provide the github link for this you can clone it and then you can start from uh, thereafter okay so i'm not going to develop a scratch crud operation and then try to show what is dynamic insert and update so i already have this thing so yeah so starting from here uh, i will just test i will just show you that uh, these apis are working fine okay so i'm just going to run this and then we'll try to hit the endpoints and then we'll try to hit uh, try to see what is the details okay uh, meanwhile i can show you in the database or uh, yeah just let me walk you through the whole application first okay so in application dot properties file we have did some couple of configuration okay so here you can see i have created one database spring boot with mysql this is my username and password i have made this uh, jps so sql that means it will be showing the query that is being fired so i made it true okay and then sql format uh, hibernate sql format so it, it is also true okay rest of things you can uh, do or you can remove it and i have just made this application up on 90 sorry 9190 port number so that is all about the configuration that i have did and apart from that yeah this is this application is up on 9190 now and uh, if you go through the controller you can see uh, so first of all i just want to show you the entity so in entity you can see that i have created work one class that is user and i only have three fields 
that is id name and address okay so if you uh, yeah that let it be this much only and then we'll see and uh, i have created one interface called user repository which is extending the jpa repository okay and i'm directly uh, calling those uh, jpa provided methods inside the uh, user controller not creating the service uh, layer okay i'm just directly calling the those apis uh, sorry those jpa provided methods okay so here you can see i created one post mapping which is inserting the user and you can see it is uh, save of uh, same method of the jpa that i'm directly calling here similar way uh, the find all method of the jpa i'm directly calling into the get users i'm getting all the users i will uh, show you the database that i have created so you can come to the mysql here uh, this was the database is spring boot with mysql and you can see user table is there so i'm just going to uh, run the select and here you can see i have couple of records here okay and uh, before that i'm just going to show you that this application is working fine okay so i'm just going to uh, insert one detail and then uh, just fetch one detail uh, sorry fetch all the details okay so coming to the postman you can see uh, i'm just going to give a name like uh, rahul something like uh, ram okay and uh, its address should be say it is noida something like that okay and then hit this oh sorry it should be insert okay and the method should be post so you can see it is inserted uh, coming back to the database you can run it and see ram and noida is inserted okay and uh, i will just uh, try to show you that the git mapping is also working fine so for that i'm just going to 9190 i think yeah get okay Let's, we'll see what is that so it is get only and before that it is there is a api so we'll try to see api slash get and you can see all the details are coming here okay so both the APIs is working fine now. I, what I just want to show you is, uh, let me clear the console first. What I just want to show you that, uh, the dynamic insert and then, then dynamic update, okay. So coming back to here. So here you can come and then see that uh, I'm just going to insert only the one field, that is name, okay. So say I'm just going to name it like, uh, Nakul, okay, and then try to uh, insert this record, okay. So you can see the record is inserted, and you can also see the query is fired here. So in the you can see it's a Hibernate query that is fired, and you can see uh, it's picking up these two values, address. These two fields is picking up address and the name. But in the post, we can see that we are providing only the name, not the address, but the fields that is picking is both address and name like if we if we have a hundred fields and we are uh, uh, we are just going to insert a record only with the two fields then it will pick all the hundred fields not only two fields so that is the uh, that is the uh, glitch or that is the mistake that we are uh, doing here without using the dynamic insert okay so that is the issue here but when we'll use the dynamic insert then this issue will won't come ideally it should be like whatever fields we are providing into the uh, request that should be uh, fired up in the form of query but it is ideally it is not going to do that so there come the picture of a dynamic insert so i'm going to include the dynamic insert and then try to fire the query first so uh, not here so come to the entity class and here you can directly annotate with the dynamic insert okay and then try to run again and then then try to insert those query okay sorry insert that uh, request so here 
coming to the Nakul, I'm just going to change the name as uh, Neha and then let's see if it is up. Yeah, it is up and try to insert it. Now come to the IntelliJ and then try to see. So you can see it has fired the query, Hibernate query, but this time it has only picked the name. That is what we are providing here in the request, not the address it is picking. So that means it is working fine. Okay. So that is the dynamic insert and for dynamic update, I'm just going to create one uh, API, which is updating the user detail. Okay. Based on the ID, like for the particular ID, we'll be updating the uh, name and address for that user. So coming to the user controller here, I'm just going to create one put mapping and then try to do something. Okay. So try to do, uh, just, uh, do a put mapping and, uh, going to update the details based on the id okay and here you can return the user updated user update user by id okay and here i'm just providing two parameters one is request body which is a user and uh, i'm also providing one path variable which is id And based on that, what we'll do, I'm just going to uh, create one user request user uh, from DB, something like that user from DB. And what we'll do, we'll try to fetch that user from the DB based upon the ID. Okay. So I'm just going to call the user repository dot uh, find by ID. Okay. And then we'll provide this ID, this ID will provide as an argument okay so and then we'll get from the database so what is happening is uh, we are getting that particular uh, user which we have provided as a id like we are getting the id1 user or id2 user and then what we'll do we'll try to set this user name and address based upon the user that is we, we are providing as a request okay so we'll try to set those things set name and uh, we'll get the name from the user that we are providing similar way we need to do uh, for the user from db dot set address and then user dot get address okay and then what we'll do we'll uh, save it to the database and then return this so we'll return this uh, and saving from saving to the database user repo dot save and then user from db so what is happening here is we are just uh, getting the uh, user particular user based upon the id from the database and we are just setting it to whatever we are providing okay and then we are just uh, saving it to the database so the put mapping is complete i think yeah so uh, before going uh, yeah i'm just going to run this again and then we'll try to see if it is working fine or not and then we'll uh, try to update and then we'll see uh, how the dynamic update is working here so it is up now <coughs> going to the going to the postman and here try to change it to the put this should be api and then update and then i'm just going to see what all are there in the database so i'm going to update uh, <coughs> the id number nine with the name and address okay and then we'll see so going to update nine with the name as uh, nagma and then address say it's uh, Delhi so basically what should be happening for the ID number nine then uh, user detail would be changing okay and then try to send it so you can see here we are getting those things and you can come to the database and also ch check those things so you can see for the nine it is changed and coming to the IntelliJ you can see what all the fields that is fired up so here you can see 
we have just updated the user table and set the address and name okay that is what we are doing so it is uh, looking like uh, the same thing that we are doing it's also reflecting here into the a query thing but what I if I will tell you that you just uh, only change the name for the ID number 9 okay so in that case we should only pick one field that is name in the hibernate query but see what is happening here so I'm just going to change the name to the uh, say Manish okay and then try to hit it so name is changed and uh, coming to the IntelliJ you can see here uh, you can see here uh, for the user table we updated the we updated only name not the address but it it also set the address as well which might be I think null I would say earlier it was Delhi and it should be null this time so it is picking up the address as well but we are only sending the request for the name so this is not the ideal case of the uh, dealing with the query so what should we do so here comes the picture of dynamic update so what I'm going to do is I'm just directly going to uh, use the annotation at the red dynamic update and then try to see how it is working okay and then we'll stop and run again okay so coming here I'm changing the name to Manish to Manisha okay and it is started 9091 9190 sorry and try to change this name okay so name is uh, picked up and it has changed to Manisha coming to the IntelliJ you can see this time it only picked the name okay not the address okay so that is what the uh, feature of dynamic insert and update that it improves the way how we are uh, using with uh, using the queries okay so whatever fields that we are providing in the request that should only be picked up as a query not all the other fields so this improves uh, when you are going to use the dynamic insert and update then it will improve the way of your querying so that is the uh, today's topic guys and thanks for the support please subscribe the channel